killed a Palestinian man in the occupied West Bank. Zakaria Hamayel was shot and later died from his injuries in a hospital near Nablus. At least 22 others were wounded. It follows confrontations between Palestinian protesters and Israeli police in the village of Beta. Demonstrators gathered there to rally against new illegal Israeli settlements in the area. Now, children in Gaza are paying the heaviest price in the latest violent escalation between Israel and Hamas. Those in their early teens have already endured four wars in their short lives. In the latest escalation, 67 children were killed. In Israel, two were killed, one child and a Palestinian Israeli teenager. Activists say there's a worrying shift in the number of children being arrested. They now estimate an additional 150 have been detained in the past two weeks. On Thursday, the Israeli newspaper Haaretz published front-page photos of the 67 Palestinian children killed in Gaza by Israeli airstrikes. The headline alongside the picture reads, This is the price of war. The paper published the stories of the victims aged between six months to 17 years. It's not just Gaza. In occupied East Jerusalem, a video has gone viral on social media showing the detention of an 11-year-old boy by Israeli police. The child was accused of throwing stones earlier in the week. His sister can be seen crying and pleading with soldiers to release him. Ayad Abu Aqtesh is the, from the Defense for Children International Palestine organization. He says there's been an increasing number of reports of ill treatment of Palestinian children in Israeli detention. Children bear the heaviest price as uh, the policies of uh, Israel and the occupied Palestinian territories. And this is uh, very clear through the number of children who were killed during the Israeli operation against Gaza and children who were arrested from the West Bank and go through many forms of ill treatment and torture. So because Israel do not abide to its um, legal obligation under international humanitarian law and international uh, the human rights law, the situation lost as uh, uh, this because despite uh, all Israeli violation against children, whether in the West Bank or uh, uh, Gaza, and even against children uh, inside historical uh, Palestine, there is no accountability for uh, the violations committed by uh, uh, Israel from the international, international community. We believe uh, as UNICEF and all human rights organizations, whether international human rights organizations or Israeli organizations, all these organizations to, came to the same conclusions that ill treatment uh, and torture is widespread, systematic and institutionalized in the Israeli military legal system. Uh, this is because all Palestinian children who are arrested and prosecuted in the Israeli military legal system exposed to different types of ill treatment and torture. Uh, these types uh, could be in the form of physical violence or psychological pressure against uh, children in the form of threatening them to arrest other family members to impose uh, long imprisonment sentence to put them in solitary confinement and many children were put in solitary confinement for the purpose of interrogation especially those who are interrogated by the israeli security agency the main purpose of placing palestinian children under these conditions is to extract confessions from them and this confessions is used by the israeli military law uh, military uh, courts as the primary evidences against Palestinian children. And for defense lawyers, it's almost impossible to prove that these uh, provisions or evidences has been extracted by law because there is no audio visual recording for the whole process.